exhibition, Australian Cybernetica Point in Time, brings together a number of different works from the 1960s, from Cybernetic Serendipity, 1968. It brings together some of the works from Australia 75 and then also the current exhibition of many of our School of Cybernetic artists and students. So Yasser Reichart was the curator of Cybernetic Serendipity in London in 1968. And one of the things that she talks about when we talk about cybernetics is that it's actually a language through which different fields and disciplines can communicate. And so what you'll see through this exhibition are many ideas of how engineering, arts, sciences, and people from all around the world have been using computers and technology to engage people in really different and innovative ways. Here we have Albert, and this is one of the first kinetic sculptures that was part of the Cybernetic Serendipity exhibition. The first Albert has vanished into the depths of antiquity, but this other one was done for San Francisco. It was really more, what I thought was more artistic. We work with a group called Boho Interactive, who develops interactive theatre. This is something that our staff and students engage with to learn about systems. This is one of the works that was originally in the Birch Building. It was part of the Australian 75 exhibition, which we will meet again upstairs. This is by Janet Brereton, and it's called Erasure of Memory. It harks back to the idea of the Jacquard loom as one of the original forms of computational thinking. And in fact, one of the ideas of this is thinking about the connections between arts, craft, and the, the history of computing. Here you have some of those initial artworks that were presented in Cybernetic Serendipity, and you'll find many others throughout the exhibition. This again is one of those original techniques of morphing, where you can see that idea of a shape morphing into another shape. Australia 75 tried to take some of the elements of cybernetic serendipity but into an Australian context, focusing particularly on the creative arts and sciences. And this is the original poster. A lot of it was to do with the performing arts. So rather than sort of the, the graphic arts this way, a lot was to do with movement and dance and the interaction between humans and technologies. So down here we have what's called a theremin. This is a, a piece of technology that allows sound to be made from movement. <laughs> what you'll see on these television screens behind here are some works by a woman called Philippa Cullen, who was a dancer and choreographer. And she was one who was using theremins, but also created pressure sensitive floors to produce these really interesting creative works. In this room later, you'll see some of the background of the ANU contributions to Australia 75. So there are a number of key scholars and groups, including physics and engineering, who are involved in developing many of the work. So you're welcome to come and have a look at some of the archives. So this work is called Anatomy of an AI System, and it's by one of our Cybernetic Imagination residents. And so this particular work digs back into all of the processes, the elements that go into the assembly of the ECHO. It also looks at the social processes of the people who are involved in creating this work. These are a couple of original photographs of um, Strainwage Springs that shows one of the repeater stations that used to use the original, obviously, Morse code for the telegraph. We have some of the original works from Boeing around computer graphics organisation. We also have some more of the uh, original computer artworks from Michael Knoll. These were works, again, thinking about interactions and thinking about actually the positioning of dancers. This particular work was trying to get computers to repeat the kind of artwork of Mondrian. And they did a study with this particular computer generated work and the original and more people preferred the computer generated work and thought it was a Mondrian than the actual Mondrian. All right, I'm gonna take you up to level three now and introduce you to the School of Cybernetics. So welcome to level three. This is the home of the School of Cybernetics. The School of Cybernetics has what's called a, a Cybernetic Imaginations residency program. We have a number of artists and creators who have been working with the school. One of our a uh, cybernetic imagination residence is Auntie Ellen Trevorrow. She's been working with many of her weaving colleagues to create what is called Pondi. Pondi is one of the ancestral spirit beings of the Murray River. 
You may notice this beautiful work over here. Wayne Sartre is one of the creations of one of our Cybernetic Imagination residents, Mark Thompson, who also created Reg, the Random Excuse Generator. The Random Excuse Generator clearly meets a, a need because the need for excuses is universal. Its actual function is to point out to people that technology becomes surrounded by mythology. That is what this is about. It's about teaching people scepticism. It has all the appearances of something that seems to be historic. It seems to have function, but in fact, it is all just a test of people's scepticism. One of our other Cybernetic Imaginations residents for this year is Lynette Walworth. Her work Collisions is here and you can come and see it. This particular work, which was produced in 2016, was shown at Davos and it's about the Indigenous people who were living in a place called Maralinga where they had some of the British nuclear testing and fallout from that. I love the fact that there's a history being told here and it's an honour to be part of a history. I'm very grateful to be standing in that sort of line of work to see what we can do now and to imagine together what we might do next. This is a particular work called System of a Sound, which was created for this exhibition, working with interactive systems and text generation from a large text generation model. If you go in again, it'll interact with you. There's another work in here that you're welcome to explore, which looks at the interactions between AI text generation and AI picture generation. The idea is that you enter a particular phrase, press the panic button, and then it goes from text generation to picture, picture reinterpreted to text, and then you will see how it evolves through this particular model. Cybernetics is a field of study, so in that way it's a language. It's a way of sharing ideas so that we build understanding together. How information flows through and shapes a system, and also how do we control that system. And one way we get a glimpse of what cybernetics is and how it shaped our world is through art. Australian Cybernetic is an exhibition that celebrates how computers and cybernetic systems have enabled creative technologies to really allow humans to express themselves and influence others.